As you may know, one of our most favorite human beings, Jacob Collier, likes to make insane logic arrangements and then show off how it's done in his logic session breakdown streams right here on YouTube. The latest one was last week, where he took apart his rendition of the Christmas song that was just nominated for a Grammy. Now some of us are extra dedicated fans and we, mostly musicians, are all gathered on this Discord server. One of the admins of this server is this guy, Pierre Regensberger, who has made an amazing cover of Jacob's version of the same Christmas song and in doing so, studied the song very thoroughly. Apparently he's also a fanatic watcher and rewatcher of the Logic Session breakdowns because he came up with this post. Doing a bingo of the Logic Session? What does that mean? Well, this. Detailed predictions of what our musical hero will be saying and showing on stream. We'll call this new game Jacob Bingo. Now let's make this into nice bingo cards and see how many out of these 30 he got right. Hello. What's up, everyone? Cool. Uh, I'm in London. Where are you guys? Where are you guys watching from? Well, there's a lot of places. North Korea. Well, okay. Sweden, Denmark. Hmm. Netherlands, Philippines, India, Germany, Ethiopia, Argentina. This is amazing. Well, look, welcome everyone. This is super, super cool. Um, um, let's have a look at some stats before we jump into this, uh, just to just to see the vibe. So, uh, let's see. There are two hundred and sixty-one audio tracks, which is uh, it's not a huge amount, but it is a lot of vocal audio tracks, and I think it actually is the most vocal tracks I've ever recorded on a on a Logic session. Um, just purely vocal, which actually is, is quite fun. So, so that's something for you to uh, for you to enjoy. This moment here, I think, is the single most vocal tracks I've ever experienced um, at once that I've been responsible for. Um, let's let's see how many that, let's see how many that are currently playing. Eighty four, yeah, eighty four simultaneous vocal tracks in as at one chord is a lot. It's quite a lot, actually. It's actually quite a lot. Um, but you know, I, I, as I said, it's, it all stops out. This moment is such a euphoric moment. And uh, one of the main things I wanted to kind of explain here in this logic session breakdown, which I, which is this new new way I did uh, recording for this, was half of the vocals were recorded on, on one microphone, and the other half were recorded on a different microphone. And I wanted to show you this. Uh, actually, I can go back to the face camera. Um, <coughs> so this microphone, which you see here, which I'm talking into right now, this is my uh, Neumann U87 microphone, which I love very dearly. And this here um, is, is a, a ribbon mic. I think it's called an R88. And uh, it has a very, very different sound. It's, it's kind of a much darker sound, much, uh, much warmer sound. Uh, and also has lots of, sort of hiss in it, lots of uh, kind of natural noise and, and sensitivity. So this is a really kind of warm paintbrush. And then this one is, is a slightly more brittle paint paintbrush, but in a very kind of clear way. What a different notes. And we put them together. So like this. Oh, and this is something I love about the voice, which you can't really do in quite the same way on any other instrument, which is you can be so kind of linguistically expressive with um, with uh, with pitch. You yeah, they are. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, very Christmassy, isn't it? So this is a Celeste, I think. This one's a Celeste. It's an Omnisphere Celeste, I believe. Oh, there she is. Very nice. And then this, I think, is just an electric piano. Yeah. I think this is just like a Logic one. Yeah. Logic Stage Mark II. There you go. Good vibes. With this particular arrangement, I wanted to completely lose time. Well, not lose it, but to, to make it very, very uh, uh, flexible and, and ever-changing and sort of dynamic and elastic and stretchy. So what I kind of did was I recorded the lead vocal to get the phrasing right, just like a rough vocal, and then I, I, I sort of clambered around that in terms of time with, with the other tracks, and so there's this really ever-changing sort of a fabric about it. So with this, for example, 
I call this technique vocal pyramiding. And I do it a lot because I just think it's really fun. Um, but I, I'm, I'm essentially dividing up the amount of space within the, the, the phrase. And if you're, if you're very observant, which I think, just judging by the chat, seems like you are, uh, you will have noticed that each of these is recorded twice. So there's a, and a, and then there's a, and a, and then there's a, and a, and then there's a, and these are only, these are actually only one. There you go. It's a high note. Yeah, so, so it goes two, 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 one, 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 one. So that those low notes have slightly more sort of, a, a, of a, a foundational soil about them, and then the others can sort of climb out. It sounds slightly, uh, slightly strange, like it's not really my voice. That's because I recorded it at this pitch. In fact, maybe even lower. Maybe it's more like this pitch. So uh, the way I did this, as many of you may know, and if you don't know, you're about to know, this here, this orange thing, very speed, is one of my favorite things in logic in the, in the universe because it means you can change the speed of your entire logic session by slowing down, well, it, it plays all at a different speed, basically. So this is what it sounds like, the whole thing at this pitch. I count being by a folks. Very unnerving. It's like a major chord, but with a flat six and a flat seven, isn't it? It's like this sound. Oh, I can actually show you on my keys camera. Ready? Hey. Yeah, it's it's this. Actually, let me do let me undo that and do this. There you go. It's that sound, isn't it? it has well, this is not always the solution to lack of calm. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing you my screen. There you go. Oh no. Wait. Wait. Boom, sorry. My bad, that's my bad. Here. Those astute-eared people amongst you may have noticed that this is actually microtonal. And every mother's child. And every mother. Is what I'm doing. But on the piano it just goes. That's, that's, uh, that's the, the low resolution piano for you. So, I'm this simple so I, I think some people notice this. If so, congratulations. But um, this here uh, happens to be the Jesse motif, which I can uh, <laughs> I can show you. Look at this. Ready? Sorry. <laughs> Look. The Jesse motif. It's on a piece of paper. This this comes in every uh, sheet music book. Jacob Coll like songs of Jacob Collier sheet music book. This comes in it. The piano is not the ultimate sort of tunedness. There's notes beyond the piano, <laughs> and this here is extremely um, microtonal. And the best way to hear this is, I think, is this is the melody here. <laughs> Look at these three notes here. Isn't that insane? So you've risen from this note to this note. It's just good old Jacob singing the tune. Play it, boy. Play it, boy. That's what he said. And you, you better pay attention. You better pay attention. Merry Christmas to anyway, you. onwards we go. At this moment, the the, the real skullduggery kind of uh, begins. There is some. There is some some kind of like filth going on in this in this next pack this this next passage but don't worry i'll unpack it all for you oh, 
It's like halfway between B and C, which actually is a key I love very much. It's the key of the last verse of um, Moon River that I, uh, my arrangement of Moon River. But um, basically, it's not, it's not this key. It's, oh no, actually no. It's between these two. Uh, my bad. This is actually not a key I've been to before. It's not B flat. It's not B. It's B half flat. But it's so great. So just incrementally, we've been we've been growing and growing. I'm gonna put you back here now. You. The ultimate Christmas chord, B half flat major with an added ninth. Oh, it's like mulled wine. Um, the irony of this, of course, is that this is not a very simple phrase. It's uh, it's quite it's quite there's quite a lot going on actually. Let's be honest, there's quite a lot going on. And um, and yeah, uh, so I wanted to to take this simple phrase lyric and I wanted to sort of throw it around the different parts of the um, the stratosphere. You. The third. Is, is truly in tune. This is a little bit, a little bit sharp, but this third is a justly tuned third. And a chord like this, I, I, I could, I spent hours just balancing it out. So, and then the lowest notes. Hmm. And then the third. And then the top notes. And I've been wanting to <coughs> arrange this for so, so, so long since I heard the, the Take Six version, which you may know, the Christmas song, arranged by Take Six. And it's on their album, We Wish You Merry Christmas, which was like the soundtrack to my teens. And they do this uh, this great this great arrangement. And the end of their arrangement is super cool. I'm not gonna play it because it might get blocked, but um, but it's really good, you should, you should go check it out. So I, I always wanted to kind of like do my own, do my own version of this, of that, of the other. and um, And this is that. So that's kind of the whole thing that we've kind of gone through it, um, low to high, um, all four thousand three hundred forty vocals playing at one time. This this arrangement in total took me about a week or so um, from sitting down and playing it, planning it out with MIDI and recording little bits and pieces to storyboarding things out, and then obviously you go and record it all. And once you've recorded it, you paint it in and to do it. Um, so. There you have it. I guess I haven't. I also haven't spoken about the video very much, but the video for this song uh, was quite an, quite an effort. Okay, everybody, lots of love. See you later. Bye. So, as you see, our friend Pierre may have spent a little too much time watching and rewatching Jacob's content. Twenty-two out of thirty is an amazing score, as Jacob himself might put it. Are you a big JC fan and think you can do better next time? Join us on our lovely weird Discord and prove it. Links to the Discord, Jacob's song and breakdown and Pierre's cover are in the description. Thanks for watching.